The Rolex market has changed so much over the last 12 months. A lot of the watches you're getting offered by your Rolex AD is now a under list watch. And what do I mean by that? The Rolex retail price, the RRP, some of them are now worth less than what they're offering to you to buy brand new. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna be going through some models for you on what I think are a million percent pass. So the first range we're gonna start with is of course the Datejust range. We're gonna start with the Datejust 41 range. Unless it is a fluted bezel, Jubilee bracelet, blue dial, Wimbledon dial or mint green dial, it's a million percent pass. Do not buy that watch unless you really want it for yourself. It is a under list watch. The silver dial, the white dial, the gray dial, all these ones now have become an underlist watch. So it has to be the top three tier of the special dials. Even if it is a smooth bezel, Jubilee bracelet, still a really nice watch. We will still buy that from you, but the current RRP on that has gone up slightly, as we all know. So we would actually only pay a list or a couple of hundred pound over list. If it is the fluted Jubilee that we've just mentioned, the new list on that is now 92, it was 88. We will now pay just over list on those. So around about the nine, five to 10K mark. So definitely fluted Jubilee top three tier. In the steel and gold range, it is a under list watch and the retail price has gone up again. I've got one here to show you. This is the steel and rose gold. This is a pure example of where the steel and gold range is. We always say go Jubilee bracelet, but with this having the Wimbledon, we've bought this in. To give you an idea, we've paid way under list. We actually put it on the website. It came in on Friday. We advertised it on Friday. It sold within one minute online. Believe it or not, that's exactly what happened. And we've sold it for 12,450. So we've sold it for list or just under list. And that is a brand new 2023 December watch. Beautiful watch, by the way, but that's where this watch is. So all steel and gold, unless it's like a chocolate diamond in this particular one is a million percent pass. The next range I'd like to talk about is the Submariner range, the Submariner Date, the steel and yellow gold. We've got the black dial and the blue dial. The black dial was already a underlist watch. The retail price on that last year was 13,150. The new retail price is 137. So that watch that was already teetering just under RRP is still on the list to give you an idea. Our binding price for that watch was 12K. Our binding price for that watch is now 12 and a half K. So unless you want to lose 12 and a quid, it's a million percent pass. The blue dial, always more sought after. One of my favorites, Sunburst Blue, what a watch. That watch is still 13.7, the new RRP. We were actually buying those in at 13.5 last year, then 13.150, which was the oldest price. We were then paying 12.5 on that watch. The new one now, so we get the call every day. If you get that watch from your ID and you paid 13.7 for it, we will offer you 12.7. So unless you really want it, million percent pass. We'll stay in the Submariner range, full gold model, yellow gold, white gold. This one here, is the white gold. For you guys that have noticed, this is a different watch. We are actually doing a new series coming on the channel. I won't give too much away. That's the reason I'm wearing it. But this is the 18 karat white gold. I'll take it off to show you. The newest price on this is 36.7, believe it or not. This is a really, really, really nice watch. Extremely heavy, beautiful blue dial. It is one that is now worth for me to sell under 30K. So if you're buying this watch from your ID, you'll probably get it offered this year, 36.7, what are you gonna do? Pass. Not because it's not nice, because it is beautiful, but it's worth less than 30K. The yellow gold one, I absolutely love that watch. Retail price around about 34.2. I'm gonna say the new RRP. Again, under 30K, million percent pass. So we're now gonna jump into the day date range. We do get a lot of requests from you guys on the channel. Unless it is a anniversary dial, and for you guys that don't know, that's the green Rolex anniversary color in the rose gold, which is literally just over list about 36K, or the yellow gold, which you won't see many of that lovely flat green they do. I think the list on that's around about 34K. Unless it is that dial, it is a million percent pass, including chocolate baguette, stunning watch, sold in LWC, really nice watch. Even like the sun dust again, really nice watch. Unless it is a anniversary dial, million percent pass. Let's jump into the GMT range. We'll start with the Batgirl. So unless it is, bear in mind this has now gone up now, believe it or not, the retail price on this watch is 9550. When I first started in the industry, 
a steal, Daytona was that price. That tells you where the market's moved in the last few years. There's definitely a profit. So if you want to sell that to me, there's a profit, there's a few thousand, but you're not going to get rich and you're not going to retire. We sell loads of these at LWC. The grey market's come down and the retail price has gone up on all the sports professionals. So you have to bear this in mind when you're getting that call, we should buy or pass, million percent buy, but don't expect big numbers because it is a watch that is real good value in the grey market in today's prices. If it is the GMT Master Pepsi, I'll be honest with you, you're not gonna get the call for that watch. Room to be discontinued, none coming through, 80% less production. We're not seeing any of this side of the desk. You're not seeing any being offered to you from your Rolex AD. If you do get the call, buy, but of course, you're not gonna get the call. And if you do, sell it to me. Let's go into the steel and gold. I've got one for you here. This is the steel and gold GMT gr and r As you all know, I absolutely love this watch. Two-tone bezel. Ghosted bottom part of the bezel, absolutely stunning watch. Really nice on the Jubilee as well. The new RRP on this watch, just gone up, is now 14.6 to give you an idea. It was 13,800 last year. If you're getting offered this watch, bear in mind we're selling this for 15,950 online, literally, and we have to make our margin. So what does that tell you about the watch? It's a million percent pass. Unless you want to buy this watch for yourself, which I think you should, and I would advise you to buy it because I really like it, I'm sure you would, it is a million percent pass. Let's go to GMT Root Beer. One of your personal favorites, one that we sell a lot. In fact, did a video on this. It was our best-selling GMT of 2023. If you get that watch, I will still give you a profit. Not a lot, but I will give you a profit. Before, you'd have got more money. Today's money, you get a little bit of profit. To give you an idea, if you offer me the new Rose Root Beer, you're gonna get 15 grand from me. I advertise those for around 16 to 17,000 pounds. If you get the Root Beer, only just to buy. Full gold gr and r such a nice watch. But in today's market, the RRP, it's actually gone up to 35,600, believe it or not, which is very strong in my opinion in the current market. Should you buy, should you pass? It is a million percent pass. Why? I can buy that watch for 30 grand and I can sell it to you for less than a list. So if you get offered it, it's a pass. Sky Dweller range. Steel Sky Dwellers, very popular watch. I've got a few to show you here. Four dial combinations, we've got the white, We've got the black, we've got the blue and the mint green. We don't see many mint greens. We sell more blue, just to give you guys an idea, than any of the other dials out there. I've got a few to show you. I've got a beautiful black one down the Jubilee. I've also got a white dial on Jubilee. You won't see many of these. Just to let you know, the, the new retail price from Rolex is 13,800. And then we've also got, oh, a blue dial Jubilee. I think this is a new reference, actually. Yeah, new reference Jubilee. This is where the market is. Got this watching on Friday, put it online, sold within, I'm going to say at least two hours online, sold it at 19.950 and such a hard watch to get. And I've also got the black on the Oyster. I'll show you that one here. That's that one there. Recently, the most popular one I've got to say is on the Jubilee bracelet. We've sold more of them than any other one. If you get the call, which you probably won't to be fair, it is a buy, but just be mindful, the blue dials are only selling for a few thousand over list price. So that tells you where the market is. I absolutely love this watch, but bear in mind, if you're getting off of this watch, buy, but only just on some dials. We'll jump onto the full gold ones, the full gold sky dwellers, just to let you know, the new RRP on these, yellow gold, 42 grand, rose gold, 44 grand. Are they a buy? Million percent not. Do not buy that watch. Cheap on the grey market, not the easiest watch to sell. AD's windows are full of sky dwellers, trying to palm them off on you. Do not buy that watch, unless you really like it, of course, which, to be honest with you, there are models you could choose which I think are nicer. But bear in mind, the new RRP is where they are. Unless it was the rose gold blue dial, we've not had one in, it's a million percent pass. Steel and gold sky dweller, as you all know, one of my favorites. Love the black dial in that model, three variations. You've got the white, the champagne, and the black. I love that watch. RRP 17.6, far too much money. Do not buy that watch. Even if it's on the Jubilee or Oyster, it is a million percent pass. You cannot expect to buy that watch and flip for a profit in the current market. Let's jump into the Daytona range. Your favorite one out there, one that all you guys try and achieve at some point in your life. We'll start with steel and golds. New retail on that price is 17,300 pounds. Unless it is the black dial or the white dial, 
it is a million percent pass. Champagne dial, as nice as it is, and we've sold loads at LWC, it's now with a new retail price become a list or under list watch, no profit for you to make. If it's the black dial, we will give you a small profit of a few hundred pounds. And if it's the white dial, we'll give you a nice little profit on that. We will still sell that watch just around the 20, 21K mark. So yeah, unless it's the white or black, million percent pass. Let's jump into the full gold, in particular, the yellow gold. I actually have one here. This is the discontinued Paul Newman with the beautiful red chronograph marker. I think it's a stunning watch. Unless you're getting the Paul Newman dial or a special dial in this model, it is a million percent past. The new retail price is 34,000 or just over. And for me personally, bearing in mind, there were 15,000 when I first started in the industry 10 years ago. I think it's definitely on its way down. So special dial, yes. Any other dial, pass. Rose gold model, let's jump into that one. I actually couldn't believe it. Jumped on the Rolex website, £37,200 that is now for that watch. Again, unless it is a special dial in that. And there isn't that many really where you could say it's actually worth more. Chocolate dial's now been discontinued. In fact, I've got one in the noise flex just to show you. That's the chocolate dial they used to do in the full gold one, which was the most popular, by the way really nice watch and they used to do the Sunder Spaghetti in fact I've got one here again discontinued dial the new variants of these you know they do do similar ones in the current market on the new model the one two reference honestly with the retail price the way it is I would not be happy selling one of them to my clients over retail so for me personally it's a pass Oyster Flex range unless it is a special dial a Pikachu a Paul Newman a Ghost it is a million percent pass, which is hard for me to say. And the reason for that is there's quite a few entry level dials that Rolex produce in that watch now. On the yellow gold, it's gone up to 26,800. On the rose gold, it's gone to 28,100. So unless you're getting one of the top three dials, which I can show you all three here, is a million percent pass. We'll start with the Pikachu. I've got the new reference for you here. That's the new reference Pikachu. You guys can see that there. And then we've got the new reference Paul Newman. Really nice watch, actually. You can see it there. And then we've got the ghost for you guys that don't know. This is the old reference, but I'll show you just so you've got an idea which one that is. I also have the rose gold one here, which is the Sunder style. That is the definite buy. If you get the black dial offered with the retail price being just over 28,000, it's a definite pass because all I'll offer you for the black dial is 29,000 pounds. So unless it is one of these four dials that you get offered, in the Rolex Daytona Oysterflex range, it is a million percent pass. Mm -hmm. 